Hi folks. Uh, okay, what we've got here uh, is two 40 watt monocrystalline solar panels which I am going to join together or I have joined together here. Uh, essentially I'm going to make one 80 watt panel out of this thing and stick it on my roof. Here uh, you can see what I've done to mount it. I bought this uh, this piece of I'm not sure what you call it exactly L bracket. It's and then I I just screwed it in place here. I'm going to join up these two uh, boxes here, these two junction boxes that are on the solar panels. Uh, here I've uh, I've cut my wire and I've stripped it and my intention is to uh, solder the positive and negative terminals together. Now I'm using Radio Shack speaker wire 18 gauge braided wire. Uh, that's not recommended. Uh, it should be 22 gauge wire and the proper way to do this really is to use what they call MC4 connectors. Uh, I don't have any and I don't feel like buying any uh, since this is just a test and it's just temporary. It should be adequate for what I'm intending to do. Uh, this is going to be up there on my roof very very short term and uh, it's just basically for testing. This is not recommended to do it this way. Uh, here you can see I've got them tinned, uh, my connections. And here I've got shrink wrap covering where I joined those, uh, where I joined those wires. Okay, finally now on this part of it, uh, I've got shrink tubing covering the whole thing where I got it all connected. So it's reasonably waterproof and fairly strong and if you want to see uh, the proper way to do this uh, the best person that I know of on on YouTube to watch would be Laser Saber put up a video recently on the way he does it and he's a very good uh, electronics builder so I'd say he's a good person to learn from uh, now you should learn how to do this if you're ever doing any automotive wiring or anything like that. Don't try to twist it and then wrap it with with uh, electrical tape. That's the wrong way to do it and you'll regret it. Uh, learn how to do it the right way and you'll thank yourself. Uh, this is an inner cell car power plug, 12 volt, 10 amp. And I bought this thing at Radio Shack. It cost me six dollars. Uh, you know, there's no soldering involved with this particular unit, uh, but it is a pain in the ass to hook up. Uh, soldering might even be easier, but what you need to do is each one of these, one's minus and one's positive, is you need to push in these, uh, I don't know what you call them, these pins push them in and then at the same time you push your wire into it and uh, it makes a connection now I cut my wire this is about one foot long and I I tinned the ends and then I I push it in there and this is what I'm going to use to hook up my battery which you'll understand uh, once you see a little bit more. Here's my system completed. Uh, I got it up on the roof there. My neighbor helped me get it up there. And then it's going into that PWM solar charge controller. And then from there, uh, I've got it hooked into my Harbor Freight 5-in-1 portable power pack. And 
the way I'm doing that is I got a uh, one of these uh, cigarette lighter adapters and I cut a piece of wire and connected it up now that's not the only way I could operate this now the big problem with this particular unit uh, is that it's only got it's only got uh, an 18 amp hour battery okay and that's uh, that's pretty small but using the jumpers I could connect up very easily to another battery uh, so if I got a 15 a 50 hour battery which are pretty cheap they're about sixty five dollars or so I could uh, I could have you know sixty seventy amp hours of, uh, of storage for this and then uh, I'd have a very good uh, very inexpensive small solar power system uh, now one thing I don't have uh, hooked up here which I've got one and I, I may do a little bit later is uh, this is where the power inverter would go but this unit has a built-in power inverter so I don't really exactly need one uh, this system will work without an additional power inverter so this cost uh, 80 bucks and then I paid on uh, on eBay I only paid about fifteen dollars for this stupid little solar charge controller it's just a cheap little PWM but this is an inexpensive system and then uh, the uh, the solar panels uh, that's 80 watts solar panels uh, is those things cost uh, I think they cost about 80 80 bucks a piece I think I don't remember exactly but they were about eighty dollars each from from eBay and they're uh, they're fine for uh, a very inexpensive system so uh, that's about it uh, I may do another video on this once I I'll get my my power inverter and hook it in there and then uh, the whole thing will be complete but it'll work just as is the way it is right now so I think it's uh, a really good thing to have uh, just the way it is. Thanks. Thanks for watching.